So here we're going to look at the factor theorem and the remainder theorem. So I've got an example of a quadratic here we're going to look at first, and then we'll go on to do things that aren't quadratics after. So the quadratic I've got here is x squared minus 3x minus 10. So because it's a quadratic, I could factorise this to find out what the factors are. So I'm going to factorise the quadratic. So it goes into two brackets. What multiplies to make a negative 10 and adds to make a negative 3? It's um, negative 5 and a positive 2. So these we can say are the factors of x squared minus 3x minus 10. So the factors of x squared minus 3x minus 10 are x minus 5 and x plus 2. Um, if I were going to go on to solve it, I'd give my answers as a positive 5 and a negative 2. So this is going to show us what the factor theorem is. So the factor theorem says if x minus 5 is a factor, then f of 5 will equal 0. So if I substitute in 5 to this, I should get a 0 up. And if x plus 2 is a factor, which it is, f of minus 2 should equal 0. So we can substitute these in and check. So if I substitute in 5 here, so 5 squared minus 3 fives minus 10, 25 minus 15 minus 10, well that is 0. So x minus 5 is a factor because f of 5, if I substitute 5 in, it gives me an answer of 0. The same thing will work if I substitute in minus 2, I'll get an answer of 0 because x plus 2 is a factor. So that's the factor theorem. So if um, x plus a is a factor, f of minus a equals 0. That's the factor theorem. The remainder theorem is slightly different. So if I try, if I did f of 2, so x minus 2 isn't a factor, so it won't give me an answer of 0. So I'll get 2 squared minus 3 twos minus 10. So that's 4 minus 6 minus 10, 4 minus 16 negative 12. So what that shows us is if I divided by x minus 2, I would get a remainder of minus 12. So the remainder theorem says if I divide by x plus b, um, f of minus b will give me the remainder. So if it doesn't give you zero when you substitute it in, that tells you it doesn't divide by that, that isn't a factor, and the answer you get is actually the remainder. So let's look at some examples of this. So here we've got a question that says show that x plus 1 is a factor of x cubed plus 4x squared minus 2x minus 5. So show that x plus 1 is a factor. So that means we have to substitute in a negative 1. So we substitute in the negative 1. So we have negative 1 cubed plus 4 times negative 1 squared minus 2 times negative 1 minus 5. So minus 1 cubed is a negative 1, plus 4 times negative 1 squared, which is 4. Negative 2 times negative 1 is a positive 2. It's 5, so we've got minus 1 plus 4 plus 2 minus 5. That equals 0. So we've shown that x plus 1 is a factor because f of minus 1 equals 0. Show that x minus 3 is a factor of x cubed minus 7x minus 6. So if x minus 3 is a factor, 
f of 3 must equal 0. So 3 cubed minus 7 threes minus 6. 3 cubed is 27. 7 threes are 21. And again, that equals 0. So 27 minus 21 minus 6. 7, 27 minus 21 is 6. Take away another 6 is 0. So x minus 3 is a factor because f of 3 is 0. Okay, find the remainder. So this time x minus 2 isn't going to be a factor. Find the remainder when x cubed plus 4x squared minus 2x minus 5 is divided by x minus 2. So we're going to do the same thing. We're going to substitute in 2. And this time, it's not going to give us an answer of 0. We just need to know what the answer is. So we substitute in the 2. 2 cubed is 8. 4, 4 is a 16. Minus 4, minus 5. So that's 24, take away 9, which is 15. So the remainder, when x cubed plus 4x squared minus 2x minus 5, is divided by x minus 2, it's 15. Okay, here's a couple of questions for you to try. So pause the video, give them a go, and then I'll go through the answers after. Okay, so firstly, we're going to find the remainder when we divide this function by x minus 2. So we're going to substitute in 2 and we'll see what we get out. So 2 twos cubed plus 5 times 2 squared minus 4 twos minus 3. So 2 eights are 16. 5 fours are 20. Minus 8 minus 3. So that's 36 minus 11, which is 25. So the remainder is 25. Secondly, show that x minus 1 is a factor. So that means we need to substitute in the positive 1. And it should equal 0. So that's 2 times 1 cubed. 5 times 1 squared. Minus 4 ones minus 3. So 2 plus 5 minus 4 minus 3. Yep, 7 minus 7. Well, that's 0. So we've shown it's a factor because f of 1 is equal to 0.